Hey Shadow and friends, we're doing a little experiment with the Dawn of the Artifacts Dusk PDF. We're using some PDF features that we don't normally use. So there's a screencast to explain number one how to use them, and number two, if you do find them useful, really want you to get in touch with us, let us know that you found it useful, and then we can consider using them in more PDFs in the future. Check it out. So when you buy Dawn of the Artifacts 1 Dusk, you will get a zip file instead of a PDF file. And inside that zip file, there are three PDF files. And the first one, uh, no layers, is the most obvious. It's the most like the PDFs we've sold before. It has the usual thumbnails and bookmarks. And it will open in pretty much any PDF reader because it is a PDF version 1.4 or an Acrobat 5 file. So that should open in any Adobe reader for the last almost 10 years at least, and a bunch of third-party readers as well. Now we have the layers file, which won't open in as many old readers, and its support in some third-party readers might be a little flaky too. I tested it in um, Foxit version 3 for Windows, and it seemed to work okay there. And the thing about this one is, you've got the same, you've got your thumbnails, you have your bookmarks, but you also have the layers that you can turn on and off here. I'm going to show you how, how you do that. I'm going to hop to page 8, and I'm going to fit it in screen, and you see here there's text images, watermarks, folio text, background. If you uncheck background, you will lose the background graphics. If you uncheck folio text, you will lose the page numbers and the title at the bottom. If you uncheck watermarks, you will lose any of the little background graphics that sometimes float on pages. There aren't too many in this book. And if you uncheck text and images, you will lose the text and images. So if you have a printer that isn't very good, or you just want to print it more quickly, you can turn off the background, print it more quickly, and if you want to print off, for example, a piece of artwork and give it to your players, you can take off a lot of things and just print off that artwork. Also in the back of the book there are a couple handouts that are designed to be printed and given to players and again you can turn off all of this stuff and they won't be able to tell what book it came from. Um, they might think that you did it yourself or got it off the net, something like that. So in addition to this we also have a file in here of maps and these maps are a city map and all of the maps in color that are normally in the PDF or the book in black and white and these are at about half page size and they also have layers in them so you can turn off the caption which means you can print it out and give it to your your players and they won't know what the source is so you can you repurpose it for something else if you like or just give it to them during the adventure so hopefully these um, these features make Donate Artifacts more useful for you. Uh, when you use them, when you like them, please let us know. This is an experiment, as I said before, and um, we, want, we want it to you know be driving forward on using electronic files as more than just flat versions of our print books. So, hope you like it. Talk to you later.